So this question starts off by providing us with this polynomial equation here. We have x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 6y equals 30. This looks like it's going to be a setup for using complete the square for a circle equation. Um, so just so that you recognize that I see that before reading the question, and maybe if you didn't see it, you can start to see that. We never really see questions like this with both x squared and y squared in the same question. That has to be a circle. So the question goes on to say, in the xy plane, the graph of the given equation is a circle. Okay, surprise, surprise. What is the area of this circle? Well, first of all, how do we find the area of a circle? We find the area of a circle through this formula, a equals pi r squared, which means I need the radius. So this equation, by completing the square, will be converted into the format of this circle equation, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, r being the most important thing for me to find here because, again, that's how I'd find my area. So let's get started. I have this equation x squared minus 10x. I am going to leave some space here, and then I have plus y squared minus 6y. I'm going to also leave some space there, equals 30, and we're going to also have some things going here. What I'm going to do next is the process for completing the square. So hopefully you've seen this before. If not, please do take some notes. It's fairly simple, actually. But what we want to do is take half of the coefficient in front of the x, which is negative 5, and then we square it. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. And we add that to this x side of our polynomial. We do the exact same thing with the y side. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. We square it. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. We add that to the y side of our polynomial. Now, because we've added these numbers that were not there prior, I have to add them also on the right-hand side of the equation in order to balance out this equation, right? I can't just add numbers on the left and not balance out the algebra by adding them also to the right. So now the next step here is, well, the whole point of saying complete the square, which makes it simple, is that I can now turn this trinomial into a binomial, and it will always be the variable that you care about, in this case, x, and the middle and the half of the coefficient in front of the x. So in this case, x minus 5 and then squared, right? And you can FOIL this out and test it. I promise you it will equal x squared minus 10x plus 25. We do the same thing with y. So we'd have y minus 3 and then squared. And again, you can test it out. It will equal y squared minus 6y plus 9. And now on this side, we have 30 plus 25, which is 55, plus 9, which is 64. And bingo, this is what we wanted. So we know that 64 is in our Let's use a different color for emphasis, our r squared um, position. So we know that r squared is equal to 64, but we can then square root both sides and we get r is equal to 8. Now that I know r is equal to 8, I can come back up here and actually find the area. Um, so that would make it pi 8 squared. I guess I didn't really have to do that, right, because r squared is here. Um, so I waste it maybe five seconds or less. So I could have just used 64. So this would just be 64 pi, right? Because pi r squared, r squared is 64. So area is equal to 64 pi. So our answer here is choice D.